Hey guys, welcome back to Neek's Kitchen. Today we've been making some bacon saltfish. Uh, my way. <laughs> so here you just see that I'm gonna go ahead here and wash the majority of the salt off the saltfish and then we're gonna put it to boil. Then we're gonna move on to our bakes. Um, I have about a five pound bag of flour, some yeast, some salt, some sugar, melted butter, and some warm milk. I'm gonna go ahead and add her dry ingredients into a flour get that all mixed in and then create a well in the middle for your liquids add in a warm milk or melted butter and we're also going to add in some warm water you do not want it to be too hot or it will kill your yeast and then your flour will not rise like it's supposed to so i use a big spoon and then um, to start the mixing process get that all combined in saves the mess on your hands from with the liquids and the flour then you're gonna switch over and start kneading that flour in and then I also just transfer over to the board just for more space um, to work with clean your bowl use the back of your hand and clean your bowl transfer that and then you're just gonna knead your flour together until it reach where it's supposed to once you're finished kneading your flour to your desired point then uh, you're gonna place it back in your bowl cover and set aside maybe for about 10-15 minutes Once you come back you would touch it. It'll spring back then you know you're ready. It'll be nice and soft Now we're gonna go ahead here and start Sectioning out um, the desired size of the bakes that we want whatever size you like if you like small bakes or big bakes Just make little balls um, of flour by using the tip of your finger to fold in the edges into the middle that's how you do that and then you're just gonna they're not gonna be perfect um but they are gonna rest for about five ten minutes which would cause them to rise a little bit and they would be better um so you're just gonna continue this all the way through until you're done forming sections with all the flour that you have needed you can also pinch the bottom like so to form it better. Now that we have everything all sectioned out, we're going to go ahead and flatten the bakes to start frying. As you can see, I use both thumbs and then you start from the middle and start fanning your way out to, to the edges to flatten it. I'm gonna show you again on another one a little bit slower so that you can see how I do it you're gonna press down in the center and then you're gonna begin flattening out from the center all the way out to the edges until everything is even and then we're gonna move on to frying you can also use the back of your palm and to help with the flattening if you feel like you know you reach to a certain amount of bakes and your hand becomes tired I do that too and then we're gonna just begin frying our bakes you can see I have a little tester there to make sure that my oil is hot enough where I want it to be and then we're gonna add our bakes in we're gonna fry on medium heat until we have a beautiful golden brown color like you see there and then we're gonna take it out at that point and put it in something that can drain you don't want to put it in something where it's gonna sit in the oil and then your bakes is gonna be all oily right once that's done we're now gonna move on to the salt fish we're gonna it's already boiled at this point you're gonna break it up to the desired size that you want to and then it'll be good we have all our vegetables here that i am going to be using now some people do different vegetables that's fine this is what i wanted to use this time i have some green peppers some red peppers some onions some carrots and cabbages um add in the saltfish get that all mixed in finish it off with some seasonings once that's done we're going to plate it up oh look at me skipping to plate then we have some fried plantain. Now we're all pleated up and ready to enjoy. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy.